Welcome back to Transformation Tuesday with Charles D'Angelo. Today we have an incredibly inspiring story for you. You're taking a look at a picture of Dr. Jeff Alexander who's tipping the scales at over 300 pounds. He teamed up with Charles D'Angelo and in just 10 months, but he dropped 120 pounds all naturally. Look at him now, Dr. Alexander. You look fantastic. Please have a seat. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So what made you first decide to pick up the phone and call Charles D'Angelo? It was saying that you were tipping the scale close to 300. Yeah, I had had weight loss problems for a period of time and uh, I was diabetic and, and even with uh, treatment and, and things had gotten out of control as far as the diabetes. I was yeah. having some vision problems oh, and, wow. and um, I just kind of came to the conclusion that it, 50 plus years old, it was time to do mm. something. And we emphasized in that intro there that this was all naturally. So from your background being a doctor, but also you had actually even tried some of the weight loss pills and injections. Yeah, the uh, yeah one of the uh, diabetic medications they found helps weight loss. Um, they gave it to me for actually diabetes with possibly the added benefit of losing mm. weight. And um, I was completely intolerant. I I nauseous for s several weeks to begin with and then started with projectile vomiting. We tried three three different types and, and uh, none of them uh, would set with me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So then what was it about Charles's process that worked for you? Um, you know, it was, for me, it was doing something for myself. It was the accountability mm -hmm. and it was, you know, I, I, I told Charles this earlier, it, you know, it was, I came for the weight loss and to help my diabetes. I came out with uh, uh, being more physically fit, um, uh, and it and it treated emotionally and spiritually right. my. my This station is participating in a test of the Illinois Emergency Alert System. This system was developed to provide information to the public during emergencies. This was a test. But still finds it difficult to do those things. Obviously, if, if one of those things were the, the antidote, we wouldn't have seen so many people struggling like they now mm -hmm. are. So I found as a, a very young man, there was something missing. And that missing link is, how do you change your relationship with yourself so you don't use food as a consolation or distraction? And it's working out a plan, a strategy of healthy eating, of exercise, and then accountability to make sure that people see it through. And I love that you emphasize that, that you're changing the way that you see food. And so yourself. it's something that stays yes. for a lifetime. Yes, and, and I always tell people, this is a journey without a finish line. As soon as mm. you put a finish line on this, you are finished. So. This isn't something you can say, okay, once I've lost 120 pounds, I'm done, or you are done. Right. You have to recognize this is all about continually staying focused on being present, not using food like a drug. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Dr. Alexander, last question here, real quick. What would you want to say to someone who's on the fence <coughs> about making the call? Uh, take the time for yourself. Right. Uh, your health is only a one-time uh, one time fix and, and do it now don't wait do you can't now. buy your health you, you can't, can't buy, buy your health. health and do it now don't wait and if you're not wanting to wait guess what you don't have to anymore charles has changed the lives of thousands across the country and now i can help you do the same give him a call by following that number right there on your screen